right, three, two, one. All right, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to convert your car into a camper in some very simple steps, very cost efficient. This is for everybody who says they wanna go do something, go see some part of the country, make up some bullshit about why they can't do it. Now you have no excuse. I'm gonna be doing it on my 06 Chevy Malibu. Beautiful car, a little dirty. So here's where we start. First thing you're gonna do is remove the seat. If you have a car, this only works if your car has back seats that fold down. So first thing you do is take the back seat out. And you just pop it off like that. Set it to the side for now. We'll prop it up here. Second thing you're gonna do is pop the trunk. Now, the supplies you need are a futon mattress or some kind of padding. You can get it super cheap at like a camping place or Walmart or some shit, I don't care. And some blankets and some pillows. If you wanna sleep in a sleeping bag, you can do that on top of it. I've already got mine set up in here. So I took my futon mattress and my comforter and I crammed it in the trunk and laid it out. You're gonna fold your seats down. So this is how mine fold down. Come back to the back seat. Pull them down. Uh, fix the seat belt. I like to just tuck it around so that it's not in the way. And now, because I've already got mine done, just pull the futon through. Uh, pull the blanket up. And you're almost done. Oh. I've just got a blanket and Zeus's favorite pillow because we're doing this for Zeus today. You toss that up here. Uh, what I did before was I had a screen door. I cut out some rectangles off of an old screen door. Anyway, I had an old screen door, so I cut off some rectangles and uh, I used this painter's tape because it won't leave marks or anything. And I just taped the rectangles to the inside so that you could leave the windows open at night and have a bug screen, but it also let air in. You didn't get all foggy. And now I'll show you how it functions. Woo. Don't kill yourself on the seat you left over there. Shut the trunk. You're ready to call it a night, you've got all your stuff, you know, you can still use the trunk for storage. You got your bags, you got your packs, you got your food, you can store stuff back here. You're ready to go to sleep, you stuff it all in the front, you hop in the back, Ugh. you wiggle your way in, grab your pillow, and voila, you're in camping paradise. It's big enough for two people if you don't mind being cozy. Otherwise, it makes a great little one-person camper. This is what I used when I went out to Yellowstone. I camped out in this baby all week because I knew I wasn't going to be able to afford a hotel. Didn't want to bring a tent. So I just parked this wherever I felt like it and camped out kind of under the stars, if you count the windows. But yeah, that's it.